Hello and welcome to Bars and Bells, my name is Ian. Join me in this follow along video for mobility and strength and to prepare the body for an exercise session at the bar or for a day of adventure in your favorite lifestyle pursuit. Stand tall or come on down on the ground and sit in the tall split. Is this position available for you? We can always work towards things like the pancakes, but first let's talk to those hips, introduce some new drills and have fun and stay strong. Let's add a challenge to get into that first position and with no hands, can we get into our lunge? I would go something here, extend through, wiggle, wiggle, square up into my tall kneel here. From this position, we'll take a single leg forward. The back foot is tucked under, so I'm balancing on my big toe. From here, I'd like us to hike a hip and pull a hip down or to level. Hike and pull down. Next, tip the tailbone back or have the front spill forward and then bring that front to the back and maybe we can feel a load stretch on the hip. Repeat one more time to the front and then to the back, opening up that hip space in the front. Then open up towards the side. We want forward facing hips with a generally speaking laterally facing knee. And from here, same thing, hike a hip, pull the hip low, hike a hip, pull the hip low, tuck under and back and under and back. Get tall, wiggle that leg to the center, pull underneath and switch sides. Leg out front. The toe in the back again is tucked, hugging that center line, avoiding a sickled ankle. From here we'll hip hike and press low. Hip hike, press low. And then if the hips are that bowl of punch, we'll spill a little bit to the front and then scoop it back up underneath. Spill a little to the front, might get the hamstrings going on back sides. And then as we scoop back underneath, probably some excitement going on right here. Nice and slow from that position, heel toe out to the side, forward facing hips with a lateral facing knee. Check the foot, making sure that the foot and the knee are going in the same direction. From here, hike and pull low, hike and pull low, scoop under, tip away, get tall on that scoop, tip away, one more time on the scoop under, heel toe that leg to center, and pull underneath. For an added challenge in our hip flexor lunge or similar movements, can we, like on a bicycle, take a leg, place it out front, remain tall on the back leg, and pull underneath. A fun drill for balance and to create room in those hips to move. And what you do on one side, you should try to do on the other. Might be a little bit tougher, find that balance and stability in the one and that room for movement and mobility in the other. From our hip flexor in our lunge position, I like to explore and open up those hips more in our frog. For our frog, place forearms towards the floor, hinging on those hips, getting low. Open up those knees and turn out so the insides of the arches of the feet are flush with the floor. Our first criteria for this movement is to tip that tailbone long and push the butt towards the back. And breathe. Leaning forward would probably take away a little bit of that stretch. While we lean forward, let's tuck under the hips, but then let's extend that lumbar spine or tip the tailbone to the ceiling and gently through the armpits we'll push the hips back, breathing making sure our chin and head neck stays neutral, the shoulders are down, and a nice groin stretch. From here, forward, repeat two more, to the back, forward, one last time, drive back, come forward, I go toes together, knees together, extend my hips to that tall kneel position from before. Now, Place hands on chest and lightly tuck the chin. From here, 
pull down, rib cage to hips, core brace, and extend that T-spine without moving your head or face. Pull down on those abs, brace, pull low, and lift without lifting the head and neck. This modest T-spine extension as we flex through the spine one last time, hopefully engages the core and reminds us to be tall through the rib cage or the T-spine. Relax. Let's go back to those forearms. On those forearms, we'll open up those knees wide and turn out those feet. With the head in a neutral position, this time we'll take a hand, slide it through and add a nice gentle rotation into that frog. We'll hold for time, pull back with control, set up the shoulders, switch sides. The tailbone is still pressing long as we're encouraging the upper body in a rotation pattern. Back to two arms and repeat one more each side. Slide through that window, let your rib cage and upper back do the twist. Your head is along for the ride. Back to two arms, single arm through, add the rotation, come back center and gently peel those knees back together and up tall. This idea of the spine flexion and extension with our core brace, we'll do the same facing lateral. Hands across chest, lateral side bend and pull to tall. Lateral side bend, pull to tall. The ribs and hips are staying stacked, avoiding leaning out of our frame. And as we lean or flex, we'll reach and get taller with our bum squeeze and final time lateral bend and reach to tall. Last movement we'll share with our frog here come back, comes back to the low body. Set up those forearms in parallel with the knees wide. Open up, arches parallel with the ground. With the shoulders low, the spine extended, gently for a 10 second interval, internally rotate on the hip, meaning try to lift a foot for three, two, return to the floor. Alternate on the other side, maintain the core stability, and think of moving that lock and key, ball and socket, femur in the hip and relax. Maybe that opens more space. And then for the final repetition here, we can try to lift that up and hold for about 10, the internal rotation on the hip, let it go casually. And then last time on the other side, nothing else really moves except that lock and key, femur in the hip, and we'll hold that tension for three more seconds and then relax. Take your time heel together. Let's get to the tall kneel again. And again, with no hands, let's get back to that splits position. How does that position feel now? Is it a little bit more accessible? Is it still a really big stretch? Let's continue to add strength to your workout routines, whether it's on the ground, with the bar, or with the bell. Train simple, stay strong. My name's Ian. I look forward to sharing more with you very soon. Take care.